Okay, so here we are, ready to go. I have all my stuff laid out, and I did it last night because you don't really want to do it in the morning is really the truth. And the things that you want to do is you want to clean the faucet and anything that you might touch um, the night before. So you want to put out fresh clean towel and clean the sink a little bit so you don't contaminate anything while you're collecting your saliva. Now this is most important for people who are using topical hormones because the topical hormones can stay on your fingers even if you wash it a little bit or you might have gotten some on your fingers or you know while you were sleeping because your sheets might have some on there so kind of think about that and you'll be for sure to have good test results so i like doing the saliva for the reasons you know already or gonna find out if you're watching this video early and so i take out what's in there and i lay it out and i don't want to do um uh, four part cortisol all i want to do is my my hormones with the morning cortisol so they send you a large tube is what you do in the morning and they send you three more but you don't need those so you could just tuck that away <clears throat> and i got a few gloves because i do use topical hormones so i use gloves just in case it's that little final piece you don't have to i've done it lots of times without using gloves so, mmm, get a little saliva. I hate spitting, so this is really hard for me to do it. But I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. Super easy. And I'm only going to use a glove on my right hand because I pick it up with this hand, take the top off. It, and put the top back on, right? Put it back. And it'll collect there and then I got to go get some more spit I think I have a little bit more spit right now let me see if I can get, mm. I did so and then I'll be back shortly <laughs> successfully got half a tube of saliva that is so gross but it is very accurate and I really like the saliva test for that so the next thing you do is you you look at this form you fill it out carefully your personal information name and address over here ask for menstrual cycle uh, no um, hysterectomy yes ovaries removed yes for me currently pregnant uh no thank you and then the symptoms the symptoms are so important to fill out make sure you do those the bottom part is for men and the top part is what we fill out and zero is none at all three is severe and the cool thing about this is they always save your symptoms so uh, the first time i did one of these was probably close to 15 years ago and they still have my old symptoms so it's kind of neat to see how you've come along really cool the other side is the top is where you put your hormones that you're taking if any um, any medications that you take and supplements so if you need to add a second page make sure you do that I always do because I take supplements and the collection date and time I only do the morning one so only that will be filled out and if this next part the panel or tests that you want so um, I think that most of you are going to probably 
follow what I recommend for this program. I highly recommend that we only do the female saliva, it says female slash male, saliva profile one, estradiol, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, and first morning cortisol. And you bubble that in. On top of that, if you add anything to it, I would add the other two estrogens, which is estrone and estriol. That's what I'm going to do for myself because I like to see those levels as well. And then uh, you sign it. It probably, if you're getting it from my website, it's going to have, and that's the least expensive way you could do this, it's going to have bill ordering health provider. So that's me. And then you just sign it and just put that bad boy back in the container like this. Oops, there we go. I love that mirror. David bought it for me. And you can send these little tubes back, recycle them if you want. You put this back in its little envelope. Bloop. Make sure the cap is on good. Plug, close that up and put it right in its little bag. Also convenient. And tape it up. Put its handy dandy little second day air thing on it. Ta da! And it's ready to go. And you just drop it off at any UPS box.